I've got a quote here, and this comes from page one of a journal, which I've been looking at here. And if you look at Mendeley, we can see all details of the journal. Now, this could be a book, it could be a book chapter, so it could be anything you like. In this case, it's a journal. Now, how do I sign this? Well, I can take my title, copy that, drop down the Mendeley command, insert a citation, paste it in, and click OK. Then I can go to my references, and add my bibliography, and everything's gone. There we are. Now, for a citation, you need to put the page number where the quote comes from. So, if I go back to my command, so insert or edit, then I can just select that, add the page number, which in this case is going to be page 180. Click OK, and we see what happened is the page number's been added to the reference, but the reference at the end stayed the same. We can show you something different. Let's go to the next page, pick something at complete random, such as, you know, let's choose that. And let's put some quotation marks again. This is going to be the next page. So let's just go do this again. Copy title, go through our command, paste it there. So we've got that going. But rather than clicking OK and then go back into it, we can just click on the name, add the page, 181, and click. OK. And there we have it. So we've got two quotes from two different pages of the same source. We've got the page number, which is different on each citation, but the reference at the end stays the same.